Bihu is the national festival of Assam. The three Bihu festivals celebrated by the people of Assam are Bohag or Rongali Bihu, Kati or Kongali Bihu, and Mag or Bhogali Bihu. All of these are related to crops and nature. Mag Bihu is celebrated after the harvesting of paddy, the staple crop of the people. Besides, during this time, the harvest of pulses, cereals, and sugarcane also gets over. Mag Bihu is therefore considered the joyful festival of harvest. During this time, the farmers get their fields ready for the farming to be done during the approaching summer season. Different tribes from Assam and the Northeast in general celebrate Mag Bihu under different names. The day, manner, and tradition of celebrating Bihu by these tribes is unique. As it is celebrated during the month of Mag, it is known as Mag Bihu. Generally, the Assamese people in the plains begin with the Bihu festivities on the eve of the month of Mag, that is, on the last day of the month of Posha, known as Makar Sankranti. Sankranti is also known as Domahi. Uruka is the day before Mag Bihu. Generally, people use the dheki to pound rice to prepare flattened rice, rice powder, and other delicacies for Bihu. Besides pita prepared from rice powder, people also make other delicacies such as hando, laru, and sunga saul. On Uruka morning, community fishing in the rivers, lakes and swamps is carried out, a traditional practice since long past. There is a tradition of preparing several special dishes from fish to be enjoyed during the Uruka feast. Young boys collect bamboo, straw and stubble around few days ahead of Uruka to construct the Bhelaghar or Meji in the fields. On Uruka, the elders of the village congregate in the Bhelaghar and recite holy scriptures seeking the blessings of the Almighty. Prasad is distributed among all after the prayers get over. At night, community feasting is held in the Bhelaghar. Early next morning, that is on the day of Bihu, the villagers bathe and get ready to offer their obeisance to Agni, the ruling deity of fire, by lighting lamps in front of the Meiji. The villagers present offerings of wood and bamboo as well to Agni Devta. After putting the Bhelaghar and Meiji to flames, the villagers offer their prayers to Agni Devta. While seeking protection from diseases and disasters, the people pray to Agni Devta seeking blessings for peace and prosperity for all.
They also seek blessings for a world overflowing with abundance in the days to come. During the day, every household lights lamps and pray to the Almighty with offerings of prasad in their prayer homes. The young pay their respects to the elders and seek their blessings. As the day progresses, people relish various special dishes and delicacies such as pita and laru prepared for the bihu festivities and indulge in merrymaking. In certain places, bihu celebrations and festivities continue for several days. During this time, different games and sport activities are conducted in the villages. Dear children, it's worth remembering that according to the Hindu almanac, the time between the last day of a month and the first day of the next month is in fact known as Sankranti or Dumahi. The Hindus in different parts of India celebrate this day as Makar Sankranti. On this day, they offer their prayers to the Sun God. It is noteworthy that towards the end of this day, the Sun enters the Northern Hemisphere into its phase of Uttarayan and the days begin to get longer. <laughs>